Hey gamers, it's Grand This Game here, back with Ox2 Not Included, the 100k challenge where things are super cold, uh, but not so cold in the base anymore now that we got a bit of heating going on. Now, thank you all for the comments. I, uh, I realized after some comments that I buried some shovels in this tile here, and that's where they went last time where I was like, where, where do the shovels go? And I think they're still alive. I think they're still in there. I think there's two in there. So we're gonna try to get them out of there now, actually, before I do that. They're all gonna fall out of here if I do that, but I think I'll just have to quickly seal it back up and hope not too many of them escape. Okay, they're all escaping. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Okay, we gotta, we gotta pick them up. Now these little guys, we'll try to get them all before they go too crazy. Uh, get this one. Ah, uh, the pip got in there somehow. Okay, at least they're wrangled now. And the other thing you guys mentioned was this barracks is not a barracks because I forgot to put the doors at the side here. So just to make things pretty, we'll just do this. Get that fixed. Um, other little fixes I want to do. This tepidizer in here, I want to move to the middle. We're going to get rid of these space heaters because they're terribly inefficient. Uh, a lot of you have been telling me to fix this, so we're going to let this pocket of gas out and hopefully the water shifts over. It should, in theory. And then we also have to crack open probably this tile and this tile in order to move this over. So we're going to put that here instead. Probably have to remove this tile as well to get in there. This can go. We're gonna need another sensor here, so I'm gonna put that right here. Some automation wire. And this one can come out. This can come out. This can go back in. Oh, we let a little bit of oxygen out. Uh, that's not good. That'll hurt our mushrooms a bit, but it should be okay in a bit here. Now, I do want to take on more dupes. Uh, quite a few more. But I need more food for that. So I'm thinking of putting a ranch in here because the temperature is getting pretty decent. And then another, maybe another grow room in here. I'm going to have to seal this whole area up though. So maybe that's not the best place for it. Eventually we want to just be farming animals. Uh, okay, let's clear up some stuff here. Get clean that up. And then we can safely seal it back up. Might as well clear this up if we can. And I really should just get all the stuff out of there. Because it's kind of messy, but... Hopefully that doesn't take them too long. Now I did install a mod, uh, the blueprint mod. It's not really a... doesn't give you any super advantage, but I do have a blueprint for the Rodriguez, which is a oxygen generation thing, which I want to use this episode probably. And kind of get off the algae here. So we're going to disable both algae buildings. And probably build a Rodriguez down in this area. Let's just see how big this thing is. This is the design. Uh, we could probably safely put it here, but I want to line it up with the floor here. I think that would probably be a decent place for it. Yeah, we'll do it there. And we'll get busy doing it. Now we're going to leave some room for them to get in there. And probably put a ladder up to this floor. Same thing here. They need to be able to get in and build it all. 
It's just a big macro kind of oxygen generator. It produces way more than we need so far, but I figured I'd build it now. Get it out of the way. Because I have a small problem here. We've got this water flowing, and we kind of have to keep it flowing, otherwise it'll freeze solid in the pipes here. So that's a bit of an issue. Uh, what did I do that as a five? I should probably just let them finish this. I don't think it'll take them too long to build. It does take some time to prime. Food has decayed. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta move my food storage. Let's get some algae. Should we get another dupe now? Maybe not. I don't want to have too many projects on the go, so... <laughs> Yeah, we'll get this started because it takes some time to prime. I think we might need a ladder up there. We're not going to be able to get up here, so maybe we have to go... ...build a ladder on this side as well. Yeah, the whole idea of this thing, if you don't know, is... ...uses the principle that only one gas can be in one tile at once. So you don't require any filters with this thing. And I forgot to check what all the sensor readings were. It's been a while since I built this thing. Hopefully we can just wing it and figure it out. They're making, uh, they're making quick work of it though. Actually, we can put this tile in later and let them just get around there. So as they're doing that, uh, what else are we doing here? We fixed that. Let's get the mushrooms back in there. Getting those space, space heaters out of there freed up some space. Get rid of that automation. And I didn't really set this thing up. So if temperature below 25, I think I'll do. We'll heat up that water. And there is no loop right now. I should have built the loop while I was in there, but I did not. But it, it'll conduct through these tiles here. So mushrooms will take us quite a ways, and then, but eventually slime runs out. Probably not for a long time. And I think we can safely seal that up. I want to put some food storage in here too, so let's do that. Uh, refrigerator. Keep it in the CO2 because the food is warming up here and rotting away, so that's not good. Now this is close to our power grid, so that's good. How much power do we need here? Two, four, six, eight, uh, 1200, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, we need two lines here. I think we're going to go over 2,000 watts. So we'll build a couple transformers for that. Maybe down here. Should I do it like this? Or one per level. I think just for symmetry we'll do one per level. And we'll start hooking that up as well. Power. Conductive wire. Oh wow, the wire's all built too. Okay. Oh, it's all nicely laid out. I forgot that was in the blueprint. Okay, so this one can come down here. This one will go to this transformer, and the other one can go... Actually, the other one's got two, four, six, eight, ten... We could merge it with this one. I think two, four, six, eight, nine, ten... Yeah, we can, we can do this. Quite safely, I think. Uh, 
and we were going hammering our way through the research. I think we're pretty much done. We got solid cargo here, and then we can retire the research for a while. So let's get this food in here. We're going to do everything for 89. And then we're going to destroy this food container here. Now, really, I should, probably should have built my food storage really close to the food making. So maybe I'll put like a little CO2 trough in here later on. Just by the kitchen. But for now, I'll chuck it in there. That way it won't rot. Okay, let's get some more mushrooms going here. I do want to kind of preheat my slime, which is actually all in here now, so that's good. Slime is nice and warm in here in the water. I'm still pouring water in here, and that's not good. So the other thing I wanted to do was build a proper, bigger water storage, because this thing is not able to spew out steam, so I was thinking I'm going below here. And building a big tank below here, so that's that's the idea. We're gonna build a giant water tank and clean this out here and get slime while we're in here. So let's go. Maybe down to he down to there is probably good. And we were kind of going every four levels here, so let's keep doing that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and then a ladder. We'll stick it there for measuring. One, two, three, four. We don't actually need ladders there. This is more for just marking things off. That could be the bottom. And hopefully I haven't messed this up. One, two, three, four. I could also be measuring with this thing. Kind of. I think that's good. I think this all lines up nicely. So every floor is four. And I think I can... I'll leave those in there. They're not hurting anything. And then I'm probably just going to do something like this. This will be our water tank. It'll be big. Giant water tank. I don't need the ladders on the bottom floor. And I guess we'll just start digging. Big project here. Maybe make the ladders higher priority. So those go in first. Okay, how do we do up here? This thing is close to ready to go. Now I forget the settings for these. Um, and we also need to pipe in water, which we can steal from here. So let's do that. We're going to take these over here. And maybe cut this one off. And what's the temperature in here? Minus 60. Hmm. Yeah, we have to make the rest of these lines as well. Like I said, it's been a while since I built one of these. Let's uh, build another, clear this out here. So we're gonna get a mix of gases coming out of here. And we kind of need to pipe them into a container until we get everything evening out. And we also need the oxygen to go somewhere. That's not a problem, we can send that off to the base. We'll probably go 
this way. It should be insulated, but I'm not going to bother. So we'll have three lines going into the base here. This is a lot of oxygen. We don't need it this much, but... We'll stick it right there for now. And then a second line. We'll, uh, we'll even these out a bit later. I'm going to put a few areas where we can cross over in the future. And then a third line. Maybe we'll do it more up here. Try to even it out. Now, like I said, that's way too much oxygen. Let's start taking on more dupes. Oh, Paku. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what else do we got here? Mouth breather. Cook. We don't really need another cook. A medicine dupe. Doctoring. Not kind of useless as well. Ah, uh, let's just go with the mouth breather, why not? Kind of a waste of oxygen, but that's okay, we're gonna have lots. We got lots of water. That will take them a very long time to build, because we got this project going as well. Way to go with my one project at a time. I kind of want to get... Let's do... Well, we'll let them finish this little bit here, and then we'll concentrate on finishing this, because it needs priming time. And where are we going to put some uh, containers that that can all go into? We could just pump it into the air, because the pressure is here is actually quite low here. So we don't really care if hydrogen and oxygen comes out of here. The hydrogen will just kind of float up and end up at the top of the map somewhere, well, way up here maybe, probably here. And I think that's okay. I am going to need to insulate this tank. And I'm also going to need a ladder. Do I need a ladder here? Wouldn't hurt. I don't think it's necessary. We'll build it anyway. And really, we want the floor to be here. So I'll do this priority one just so we can map it out. This will be our giant water tank. do this as a one as well so we can get back to our Rodriguez so that's all wired up uh, I think we have to cancel that oh that's pipe never mind oh the water is going to be freezing in this pipe uh, okay I think I need to <laughs> maybe do this instead We'll do a bridge, and then we'll split, and we'll do another bridge, because we're going to remove that later, and just go straight into there, and straight into there, like that. Let's do that as a nine, let's get that piece done. Yeah, we got to keep that water flowing, otherwise it's going to freeze in this pipe over time. This thing's active again. That's good.
missing research station. Oh, that's because we don't have the space one. And we're almost done. Okay. I think because we have a lot of slime now, I will take these millwood out. And we'll just go full, full mushroom. How's the temperature in here now? Uh, still a little bit low. We should put a radiant loop in here. And we won't just now. Well, the CO2 is actually becoming a bit of an issue here. Bit of an issue with the CO2. Um, it should kind of be falling over the edge here and making its way down, but... Might not have enough room to get out. We could actually just grow food in here right away. I do want to put the uh, ranch down here though. So, on my regular theme of having too many projects going at once, we'll uh, start this up as well. So this will be a ranch, I think. What's the max size? 96? I can't remember. Stable can be 96. This is going to be way too big. Um, so maybe we do two mini ranches? I don't know. Maybe split it somewhere in the middle. I think we'll tuck one in here first. Let's get the mushrooms back in there. So yeah, we'll move this hatch that's kind of trapped here right now. Oh yeah, we have we have no polluted water for this poor thimble reed. That'll change. Okay, this thing is flowing. Uh, the electrolyzers aren't hooked up yet. That should be splitting. What's going on here? Pipe blocked. It's not hooked up. <laughs> it's not hooked up. No wonder. And we didn't put the, the ceiling back on here. That's kind of critical. And we have to... Oh, I, made, I put a ladder here. I'm such a dummy. I'm such a dummy. This needs to be sealed in. And I think we can safely do that after we do that. No, we can't do that either. Jeez. What have I done? I trapped myself. I think we have to actually remove that so they can have enough headroom to get in there. Or maybe they can just build it from here. Actually, they can probably just build it from here. I just didn't want them to get trapped. But I think we're good. Okay, that can go there now. Back. And we don't have the second power thing hooked up to anything, so let's do that. And this heavy watt wire has to come down. Um, I think I'll do it through the floor here. So we got oxygen hydrogen coming out of here. We need to seal this up. I should have swept everything out of there first because we got ice and crap in here and that's going to warm up. So we got to do a sweep. Let's get that out of there. We'll seal up part of it so we can get this primed. Now I forget what these should be at. Uh, if pressure above... Uh, I'm going to take a guess here. Above 400? I can't remember to be honest. If pressure above 400, then let's make sure that's all hooked up right. Yeah, then pump. But you know what? We have to prime it first. Let's just check our gas overlay here. Uh, gas. I think we might already have it primed, actually. 
Hydrogen, vacuum. I think we might be okay. And then same thing down here, if pressure above. I think this one can be higher, 600. I'll have to look up the numbers in the next episode, we'll fix it. But there we go. Oh, we're getting little bits of hydrogen out. Okay, it's not working perfectly. Just yet. And this is going to pose a problem, but it will float up to the top. Eventually. Kind of. Maybe. What do we got here? Vacuum. Hydrogen. Water's going in. Now we got a vacuum here and a vac. No, hydrogen. We just still have hydrogen here. Oh, now we got a vacuum. Okay, now I think it's primed properly. I think. Like I said, I should have checked my notes before I started. But we should seal the bottom. Maybe we'll just leave all the scrap in here for now. Get the ice out. Because it will get warm, it will melt, and we'll have to go in there. The rest I think we can safely leave in there. Oh, pressure above. Oops. Pressure above. Pressure above, pressure above. These are all <laughs> all over the place. Oh, now it's all messed up again. Okay. I messed it up. That's okay. We'll eventually get back to where we want it to be. And we got the printer ready. Got a directlet egg. We did want more dupes. Um, I don't want an allergic dupe. I think for this round we'll just get the Greco. Drecklet. Never hooked up my massage table. Okay, we'll do that. Make sure we got our barracks here now. That's all good. They're all getting sopping wet as we send them in here. I have to get rid of this vent here. We have too much water in here now. Gotta kill that. We should probably have a valve right before there, but for now... We probably could have used some automation there with a switch instead, but for now... We'll just do it this way. Yeah, going in here... What are they? Oh, they're storing ice in there. Sweep only. That's okay. This hydrogen is going to be an issue at some point. Hydrogen, hydrogen. Okay, they're almost done getting that stuff out of there. This, The rest of it can stay in there. It's not very important. This may trigger some of you having these little bits in here, but... I apologize. Okay, now that that's complete, eventually we'll have to, uh... Still have oxygen here. Hmm. Oh, and carbon dioxide? Crap, we have solid carbon dioxide in there. Well, that's no good. Problem with having a freezing... Freezing base. That's going to warm up, that's going to turn into CO2, that might cause some issues. I think for now we're just going to plug that hydrogen into a tank. It's not pure hydrogen, we've got still bit, bits of oxygen, but that's okay for now. Uh, we need an actual tile floor there. Oh, uh, we need to get that solid stuff out of there. Crap. It's gonna mess us up. There's one little bead of carbon dioxide solid in there. 
Um, okay, we'll go back in. Might as well get everything while we're in there. And mop that up as best we can. Okay, I think we got it. Take this vent out for now. Now, if this backs up, it's going to mess everything up, so... I'll have to be ready to send the rest out somewhere. Or we could just filter it. That would be smarter. Filter it and burn it. That would be way better. Let's do that for now. So... This can come away later, but... We'll filter it, and we'll burn it up in, on our main grid here, probably. Lots of different things going on here, I realize. I apologize. Okay, this is going to go here. Let's make that out of gold. This will be on the main grid. This can go here. Holy crap, that's filling up really fast. Oh my gosh, unbreathable. Hydrogen. Uh, we gotta build this in a hurry, so let's do some bridges here. We're on a timer here. Okay, everything else can go right there. And hydrogen can go in there. Bridges can go back. This thing's gonna... It doesn't... It's okay if it backs up because it's all messed up right now. Oh, and they breathe CO2 when they're in there. Oh my god. They're exhaling when they go in there. That's the problem. This is a problem. I think we're good. Priority emergency. Seal that up. I think we're good. As long as they don't exhale in here. At, anymore. I think that'll fix itself. And we filled it up. Pipe block. Oh god. <laughs> Okay, it's priority nine. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Once they wake up. This animation is running even though it's not doing anything. And we need more beds. <laughs> we need another bedroom. Uh, I think we might take some of the art out. Get a few more beds in there. Take out my pretty bedroom. Okay, this should be good in a second. Pure hydrogen. Good, good, good. This should be on a smart battery, but I don't care right now. We're just going to burn it off. Batteries are all full. That's okay. We're just trying to burn it off. And it's backing up anyway. Oh my god. Can't keep up with it. <laughs> we'll build another one. Might as well build three. I think we might need three actually. To actually consume all the... All the hydrogen coming out of there. Okay. I mean, it's approximately working, but <laughs> it's not perfect yet. We can get rid of this filter once this all normalizes. Yeah, we haven't skilled up our dupes in a while, so let's do that. Max, what are you going to be? You're going to be a rancher because you love ranching. Farmer, rancher. Uh, Joshua's a cook, carrier. What else do we got here? 
Uh, May loves ranching, but we're gonna need a mechatronics engineer. What are we missing? We need, oh, they need carrying as well. Okay. Uh, the rest are probably good for now. 12 over nine. Maybe another carrier. And that's probably okay for now. Now this cold oxygen, massively cold oxygen is going to cool down the base, but this will warm up over time. That's for sure. We got idle dupes. Okay, let's make sure we got dig operations going on here. That will keep them very busy. And I've got to insulate this side, so let's do that. And then we're gonna need a pump at the bottom. Might as well build that in the corner here. And the pipe doesn't really need to be insulated. Just a regular one. I think we could send that through the insulated tile. We'll just keep it in, in what will be the water. Now, it will be super cold in here and there'll be a bunch of cold mass, but over time, all this hot water will make its way in there. It might, some of it might freeze, but it'll eventually thaw. How's oxygen going? We have way too much. <laughs> Good problem to have. This, I think, is all hydrogen now. Maybe? Oh my god. I think this might be okay now. I think it's going to be pure hydrogen from here on out. Did I do insulated? I don't need insulated pipe for here. Jeez. Too late. It's already built. Okay. Mushrooms going. Okay, let's build a ranch. Um, clear and drop off. Actually, I want to use. Yeah, we're gonna do a little trick here that a lot of people do, and that's to kind of keep the hatches in a small little space here. They can't jump over this door, but then we get the full space from here. This is not the optimal size, but. We'll, we'll allow it. What do we got here? Another hatch. Poke shell spawn. We could we could get one of those, but I think I'll just get another hatchling. Forgot to get, check the dupes. Got a lot of CO2 in here. We could be growing mushrooms in here. I see no reason why not to, except we don't have a fertilizer thing here. But we'll use the space for now. And just, just stick some mushrooms in there. We got the CO2, we got a decent temperature. That'll be good. We need some polluted water. We could steal some pee out of here and put it in a tank somewhere that's warm. 
Let's stick some pee. What's the temperature here? 19. We'll make a tiny little pee trough. Right there. Is that gonna work? Will we be able to fit a pitch a pump in there? No. <laughs> what do we have to do here to fit that in? Maybe it can just be one tile high? Will that even fit? Nope. Can it fit here? Probably not. Uh, we need we need something else other than that. This is not going to work. Where can we put our pee? <laughs> um, below the bedroom? Actually, I'm being a little bit stupid here. Let's, uh, let's use hydroponic tiles and then we can just push the pee right in. No, we can't. Can't put it there. <laughs> uh, where can we safely put it? Where it's not too. We could put it here, 22 degrees. Yeah. Hydroponic tile. Close to the P. So some of that we're going to steal out of here. go in there. Yeah, okay. Temperature there is 20. It's not warm enough here. Uh, it might be warm enough. Boy, oh boy. Got a lot of uh, shovels building up there. Food's looking good. Got enough food. Let's put some mushrooms in here. Just a few. And this is going to be, let's copy some settings here. This will be patches, and we want to feed them sandstone for now. And then we'll move this hatch. Let's kill this drop off. And feed her. And we'll move Mr. Hatch down here. And this little baby hatch can go there too. And that'll be the start of our hatch farm. Only 149 cycles in. <laughs> a little bit chilly in here. Might want to warm it up a bit. This is too cold over here for mushrooms, but let's do some radiant pipe along here. nine. That's crazy talk. And we want to incubate them as well. I think I might just incubate them right here for now. We'll have a separate incubation room later on. I think that can go in the ranch. Miscellaneous room. I know what I'm missing. A grooming station. <laughs> yes, I'm a noob. Stations. I think I took a four month break from this game, so it's like I've forgotten everything. How's this doing here? It's not blocked up. We're getting pure hydrogen out, getting pure oxygen out. It's a beautiful thing. Our tank. It's not quite done. But that's a big tank. Let me tell you. Let's get this wire down here. Oh, there's stinky air in there. Like, like, 
just like we like to see. Stink here. Minus 57. That way we have one, two, three geysers feeding into the same same tank. And this looks like it's big enough, but let me tell you, water accumulates pretty fast. But we'll be using it up as we take on more dudes. I'll go to at least 20. Then we'll see. I think my last base I had 100 dupes, so... The lag gets pretty crazy. Let me tell you. Okay, what's going on with this water? 20 degrees. This will warm up over time. Not too worried about that. This hatch, what, what happened with my hatch? Didn't get delivered. Let's do hatching eggs in here. Incubate, continuous, priority seven. And our first wrench is up and running. Okay, get him this time. I don't know if we'll be able to walk along there. I don't think so. Let's bring the priority down on these containers. Okay, we got idle dupes yet again. Okay, let's see what we got here. That's all done. Let's break the seal here. The Great Flood of Cycle 150 begins now. Ooh, ow. 22 degrees. Lovely. Let's open it up even more. Get rid of this metal tile, it's not helping anything. Pump certainly isn't helping. Okay, look at that, we got nice 20 degree water. Oh, and it's freezing already in the pipe. Because I'm an idiot, and I didn't insulate it. <laughs> I figured, um, yes, turn the pump off. I figured this would be underwater. But what I didn't realize was it's not gonna be underwater for quite some time. So I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's just gonna freeze solid in there. Uh, okay, well, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna... Well, hopefully they can just do it quickly. Doing some low priority stuff in here. Okay, they got that pipe built. We'll clear the water out of there first. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on the way. And then it's coming out of here at 10. I think we'll be okay. Now that hydrogen, hydrogen. Uh, batteries are full. We should be a bit smarter about this in terms of wasting it. But the coal priority is pretty low, so I think we're okay. 
just burning that off. What do we got here? Nutrient bar. Mm. Uh, do we want more? One more dupe squeamish machinery seven. Yeah, let's do that. We got one spare bed. We got room for more. We need it. Okay, my reed fiber. Uh, where is it going? There, there it is. Get that planted. I think we'll be okay there, yep. Yeah. We got tons of idle dupes, so we don't like that. Let's get in here. strip mine this whole block down. This little experiment over here. This plus this, given a thousand cycles, <laughs> equals free water. <laughs> oh, we got natural gas coming in here too. We're kind of wasting it, I think. Uh, no, actually we're not. Yes, we are. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Okay, body temperature, 19 degrees. Now I said I didn't like space heaters, but um, we could probably do this. Granite shift plate across here. That should connect with the radiant pipe with the 45 degree water and kind of warm up this little section. This sad little dupe in here. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll go for two more dupes here. I think we can support them. Maybe go with a metal floor that'll help decor a little bit. We got the spare copper for sure. Just flood them with decor. Gold is better, but we got copper. And someone pointed out that this thing the other day was pumping water into the refinery, even though the refinery showed as it was full. Which was kind of interesting. Let's switch to iron, maybe, to get a bit more heat going on. 20. Actually, copper's probably fine. 45 degrees. Yeah, we're good. This should warm up in here. But we're putting, t <laughs> we're putting really cold oxygen in here. Minus 20. Hmm. Hmm. It's not one thing, it's another. This area will take forever to heat up. We could insulate it for now. And try to warm this up a bit. Oh, we got a problem. Houston. Got a problem. Oh, that's been sitting in there for a while. It has nowhere to go. Of course. That has nowhere to go. Let's deconstruct that. And we'll try to... I think we have a plumber now. We can get this water out of here. Hundred twenty thousand food. Holy barbecue, Batman. Okay, let's make sure, uh, under food, that they're not eating plain mushrooms. We don't want them eating meat. We don't want them eating bristleberry. We don't want them eating mushrooms. We want them only eating fried mushrooms, gristleberry. Okay, we're good. 
The things are cold enough in here. I think we could actually do... some bristleberry in here. But we'll hold off on that. We don't need that right away. Now, I do want to get into the oil stage of the game pretty soon here. Sweep up that bedroom. Okay, we got to make sure we don't use up too much pee. Still too cold. That's this cold oxygen. That's the issue. We're fighting. We're fighting the cold oxygen. We could put this radiant pipe like this first. on top of it. Okay, what other projects do we have going on here? The tank is looking okay. Turn the pump back on. Because there's no water coming through anymore. Blue water, how'd that get in there? Did someone take a leak in here? Can't get it. That may ca cause a problem in the future. Insufficient oxygen generation. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Well, maybe not because, uh, because it's kind of backed up. Idle dupes. Uh, let's do this. And I'm gonna start heading... Should I head to the top first for regolith? Sure, why not? We'll do priority six. Granite. Try to get to the top. And also, try to get to the bottom. That's kind of making me sick looking at that. Okay, sandstone, sure. Maybe granite. Let's go down to the depths of the depths. Try to find the oil. I'm not sure there's going to be oil down here because this is a frozen core. But we will find out soon enough. Let's do some airflow here. How's our water looking here? It's kind of water falling its way in there. Got popcorn CO2 in there. Our hatches escaped. I need one more tile. <laughs> Forgot they could jump too high. That's what we need. Then we can wrangle them back in here. I think I want to expand the mess hall here, great hall. Might as well fill it up. Maybe put a bit of decor in there. Max size 120, we're at 96, okay. Got room to grow. Oh, they love to get stuck in tiles, just like dupes like to dig themselves into holes. Now this door can be left open once we get this hatch out of there. Get him.
Anyone? Bueller? We won't have to worry about oxygen for quite some time. Do a bit more deodorizing around the around the base here. And if we really scale up, we could just build another Rodriguez right below it here. And I was gonna insulate it, wasn't I? Because it's gonna get it's just too cold. Let's do a low priority. Do I wanna insulate the whole thing? You know what? Let's just insulate this one wall here, maybe. And maybe the bottom. I want to strip mine this at some point. Have an obsession with strip mining. How are we doing with slime? 12 tons, we're good. More shovels! We got a diver's lungs here though, but shovels, diver's lungs, uh... We've got tons of calories, so... Let's take on a dupe. And let's clean this up in here. Take that out of there. Take this out of here. They can't breathe. Oh, and we need a farming station. This needs to be a door right here. So that this becomes a... Oh, this is going to mess us up, I think. This is going to mess us up. We're not going to be able to seal this room, I don't think. Can we stick it here? could put on the end and then make that a sealed room. This is kind of messy, I'll admit. A lot of you have been complaining about me not doing everything perfectly. And I kind of play in more of a relaxed manner. I don't try to min-max everything. I make lots of mistakes. I just kind of chill, as you've probably noticed. The fridge is full. You know what? Let's move our fridge up here. It's closer to the kitchen. We aren't going to power it. Oh, we could also do an infinite food storage somewhere in a little CO2 pocket. Actually, that's probably the way to go. What's with this hatch? Unreachable. This one's definitely reachable. Eat your food. We could do a little water trough somewhere else. That might be the way to go, actually. Yeah. I was kind of building one here. Could put one in here somewhere. Okay, these hatches are finally trapped. Oh, we got a sea hatchling. Let's uh, get that going.
clean up some wires. Get this food stored away. Make sure our great hall didn't break. Tanks filling up. This is going. This isn't underwater. That's good. This one is underwater. That's bad. Let's give this some room to maneuver. And maybe push this along. Push this over so it can only go this way. we doing down here we're heading down into the depths it's kind of going we'll make this more of a five Have we discovered anything new no not yet got some free food in here hmm. what about the up ladder oh we reached space we got some hot regolith, some icy regolith. I don't think I'll poke through just yet. What is this? Brian. That's weird. Could kind of poke in here, get a little bit of oil. Make sure the dupes don't go in here and release the natural gas. I like how the CO2 is just falling out of here. Solid CO2 falling down right there. That's uh, sure, why not? <laughs> we'll ship that CO2 into space eventually. Okay, now, do we have a room here? I don't think we do. No room, okay. I need a little water trough. And where should we put it? It'll freeze out there. Oh, we've got some lag there. Uh, I guess my better judgment, against my better judgment, we'll stick it right here in the corner. And then we'll put a door here. And we have to be careful when we build this here, or dupes might get stuck. And let's change our schedule a bit. Let's add another schedule here. We're going to add. Um, a new one, and we're gonna offset it from everything else. What's going on here? Okay, let's uh why is this so small? I wanna expand this. Okay, we're gonna offset everything over here, so downtime, two, three bedtime. One bathroom break. And we're going to move. How many do we have? Soon to be f 12. Okay, that's evening them out a bit. That's good. I think I'll scale the food priority down to 7. Now, if we stick a door here, 
this should seal the room up once we get rid of this pump. And then we can put a farm station in there. We might as well just stick it there, you know? Farm station. Is this a farm? Miscellaneous room. It, sh it should be a farm pretty soon now. How much fertilizer do we have? 3,600 kilograms. This will really boost our food production. And we could turn this one into a farm if we poke this up one. And there's no reason why we shouldn't. We could stick another farm station right in here. We're not making any fertilizer though, so... We'll have to think about where we're going to make the fertilizer. Outside a greenhouse. What have I done? Greenhouse requires 96 tiles. Oh, it's 102 tiles. Okay. We can solve that. What did I say? 96, 102. Yes. Okay, there we go. Farm station, priority 7. Get that fertilizer going. That should double the double the speed of the mushrooms coming out of here. And we got five idle dupes. We always always have idle dupes. Uh, let's just go insane with digging here. Uh, they just do it so fast. We're gonna need the slime eventually, so let's go in there. Get that out of there. Might as well do some ladders along here. I'll probably end up end up extending the base up this way. So we could start roughing this out. Place this with granite. Yeah, so we'll extend the base upwards here. We'll have to preheat it. We'll go vertical. Another dupe. Uh, let's go for 12. <clears throat> we got uh, anemic, no, narcoleptic. Eh. I don't like any of these. Next, next round we'll get someone maybe. Okay, let's put a farm station in here. Uh, I never did the sage hatchling egg. Get that going. Don't really need this little platform here, but not really hurting anything. Fertilizer. How fast are we going through it? We're probably going to go through it pretty fast. We could also dig some out. It's probably a little bit spit. Let's use our overlay here. Fertilizer. Organic. We got slime. We got algae. Um, is fertilizer considered organic? Probably not. Maybe it's a uh, mineral? Okay. Maybe it's uh maybe it is organic. Oh, soil. Duh. Dirt. Clay. Phosphorite.
There's a tiny bit here. There's a tiny bit down there. Okay, there's not a whole lot here, folks. We'll get what we can. We're going to need to start making it. And I usually do that in my natural gas room. We don't need this coal generator here anymore. We could do a transformer up here. Let's do that. We don't need a big transformer necessarily, but we might want upgradable upgradability in the future, so let's stick that there. And then this we'll just do regular wire here for now. That way we can retire this coal generator up the top and they won't have to deliver coal there anymore. I'm going to capture the CO2 here instead. Instead of it going all the way down here where it's eventually going to cause a CO2 explosion. Still got CO2 issue here. Lots of food. Not millions of calories, but quite a few. Okay, I think we got quite a bit done that episode. Got lots of oxygen now. We got our ranches, a ranch. I'll have to do something with the shovels eventually. Some digs going on. Got our water tank built. Next episode, we'll probably head into the oil. We got, we're getting down there. Oh, there's another geyser here. Oh, there's the hot area. Okay, it's gonna be down here. So yeah, well, next episode we'll get down into the oil area, maybe start setting that up. We're going to have to bring oil up through here, and oil freezes at minus 40 something, so it could be difficult. <laughs> we might have to refine it down here. And we could try to get into this little pocket of oil up here. There's a few pockets. This is cooling down quite a bit. Not much in there though. And we reached space, so that's good. How's the map looking? Still have quite a bit to explore. And I think that eventually the base envelope will probably go up to here. Maybe here, right below this geyser. That way we can fit in many, many more wrenches. As our as our hatch population expands, we'll just keep building ranches. And that should cover as many dupes as we want within reason. And then we can build another Rodriguez if we need it. Because we have the water supply for sure. And then maybe get into rocket stuff? I don't know. Let me know in a comment if you think I should go into the rocket stage or not. I still find it super tedious, and I hope they fix it in the expansion. Especially liquid hydrogen, liquid oxygen. I, I never really want to build one of those contraptions again. Mainly because I'm lazy. I wish there was just a machine. There kind of is an aqua tuner, but just a machine that made liquid oxygen directly. So I think I'll wrap it up here. I've gone way over time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.